Traffic Generation Strategies, Category Number 3, Social Media. To get optimal social media traffic, you have to study these different platforms and create content that is especially adapted to them. YouTube Review Videos. Create a video that reviews the affiliate product that you are promoting directly, or create a video reviewing a product that you know is closely related to the product you're actually promoting. Either way, you get highly interested eyeballs. Either these people would buy the product you are promoting directly off your video, or you may be able to divert their attention from the product they are actually interested in to the product you are promoting. How to create effective YouTube review videos. Feature short videos no longer than five minutes. Use clickbait style video titles. Get folks to click just by reading the title. Maybe you appeal to some sort of emotional hot button issue or you pull to fear. Use clickbait type video still images. Increase your visibility on YouTube's internal search engine by using LSI or latent semantic index keywords in the title. LSI keywords enable you to create some sort of context for your video, which can make it more visible to people searching for your video directly or something related to it. Your LSI keyword should also be in the description of the video. It's very important to mention your keywords in the video itself. Promote your video to get its view count up. The higher the organic and real views of your video, the more prominent your video will be shown when people search for something related to your video. Pro, the great thing about video is that you are more likely to sway the viewer to the conclusion that you want them to have regarding the product or service you are reviewing. If a picture is worth a thousand words, how many words do you think a video is worth? Video also enables you to incorporate audio, voiceovers, pictures, diagrams, infographics, and other elements to create a more powerful case for whatever it is you want the viewer to do. Con. Obviously, creating high-quality videos can cost money if you don't already know how to make them. Thankfully, there are many places on the Internet where you can outsource this type of work at affordable rates. Fiverr, for example is a good place to start when looking for outsourced short video creators. Facebook Video Content Facebook Video Marketing's big difference with YouTube is you have to include hashtags to maximize your targeting on Facebook. Moreover, you have to be very proactive on sharing your Facebook video post. Share on your page, your personal wall, and share those links to your Facebook page video post to niche-focused Facebook groups. Of course, the more groups you've joined, the more places you can share your Facebook video links. The great thing about sharing video links on Facebook is that users not only get to see your video to click on your link, but they can also click the like button that is associated with your page when you share a video you posted on your page on niche groups. Pro, Facebook video content has the same benefits as YouTube review videos. It's easier to convince people using video than text. With FB, not only can people click on the link that you share with your video, which leads to them going to your website or affiliate offer, people can also click the like button and join your page. Con, you have to join a massive network of Facebook groups so you can have a distribution platform for your video. You cannot be overly aggressive with your video. Make sure that the videos you share are tightly related to the niche coverage of the groups you have joined. Otherwise, people might think you are spamming, and this can lead to serious problems. Your page might even get deleted. Facebook Site Link Content When you share any type of content on Facebook, Facebook would usually try to post a preview of the page of that content's page. This allows you to take advantage of what Facebook users would see with the preview. Facebook automatically pulls an image from your page. It also pulls a few text snippets as well as the title of your content. The good news is Facebook allows some customization. You can come up with a custom description. You can even get rid of the preview and come up with your own photo. Pro, Facebook enables you to share quite a bit of content, and if you know how to take advantage of its preview system, your content can actually draw quite a bit of attention. Con, Facebook has constantly been playing around with their algorithm. If you have a Facebook page or you are active on Facebook groups and you share content, only a small percentage of your group members or page fans will actually see your link. FB organic reach continues to sink. You can work around this by posting more content, but this opens a can of worms. When people see that you're too aggressive in sharing content, they might think you're a spammer. You have to walk a tightrope. Twitter Tweets When you share links on Twitter paired with a hashtag, people searching for that hashtag can find your content. Also, when influential people follow you, 
They can always retweet your tweets, and this can increase your organic reach on Twitter. You may be able to reach more eyeballs. Posting on Twitter is pretty straightforward. You post your link with a short description and a hashtag or two. Pro, the great thing about Twitter is you can republish many times throughout the day. If you've ever used Twitter, you know that not all users are on the platform all the time. You need to republish your content several times during the day. How? You need to look at your site statistics to see the time range when you get the most traffic. Focus your tweets on that time. Do not republish the same content over and over. Post high-quality third-party content related to your niche and then republish your own stuff. Make sure you are targeting the right hashtags. Highly influential bloggers in your niche may be able to see your content and possibly link to you. This not only sends some of their traffic to your site, but the backlink created by them linking to you can also increase your website's search engine rankings. Con, the big disadvantage of Twitter is that very few people actually click through the content links. Instagram. To market on Instagram, you just need to share photos related to your niche. When people like your photos, they can follow your account. People cannot click through your photo, unlike Pinterest. Users must be impressed enough by your photo for them to want to check out your profile. When they see your profile, they can click to your affiliate page on your site. The secret to Instagram is hashtag specificity. You have to be very clear about the specific range of hashtags that are closely related to your niche. Keep targeting those with the photos that you share. It's also important that you share high-quality photos of items related to your niche. Pro, the great thing about Instagram is that you can build quite a bit of a brand following. The photos you share speak volumes regarding your taste of your brand's appeal. Con, the downside to Instagram is that it doesn't work with all niches. For example, if your niche is insurance, it's really hard to come up with photos that would do justice to your niche. Usually, people on Instagram don't really look for car accident pictures or any pictures related to insurance. Make sure that your niche is graphics intensive and has enough demand on Instagram for it to be worth your time to market on that platform. Also, Instagram pictures are not clickable. People have to click on your profile to click out. The good news is, with each photo, you can always call people to action and say that they should click your profile. Pinterest Pinterest is an online pin board where people can share photos. These photos are then linked to web pages. Pinterest is heavily categorized, so you can actually categorize your pictures so as to target these niches. The great thing about Pinterest is that you can actually put your affiliate link to the photo. I would not suggest such a direct link, though. I would use a redirect so you can track traffic from this pin board. Just like with Instagram, if you're in a niche that doesn't really lend itself well to graphic representation like insurance or certain types of lawsuit, you may want to advertise on a different platform. Pro, the great advantage of Pinterest is that it usually has a high traffic click-through volume for certain niches. These niches have to be graphics friendly. Pinterest is also very flexible when it comes to linking so you can link directly to affiliate products. Ideally, you should link to your squeeze page or to content that encourages people to join your mailing list. Con. Pinterest, just like Instagram, is not ideal for certain niches. You need to do some heavy initial research for your niche on this platform. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.